What's up everybody, my name is Austin and you're watching the Power Stoke channel. Before we start today's video, please hit that subscribe button, share this video and hit that like button. So today's video, my cousin's here from Montana and he's putting a SMB intake on his Duramax. We don't want that, so he's hoping for better mileage, right? Yeah. That's what you're hoping for. So he's wanting a little bit better mileage and cold air intakes are always better, always. So it's a 2002 with the 6.6 Duramax, obviously. It's the LB7 and yes, he changed the injectors. I know all you guys are gonna hate about that because your Ford guys are gonna pick on the Duramax. He drove it all the way here from Montana and he got 16 and a half miles per gallon in this thing. That's way better than the Ford. The Ford at its best gets 13 and a half. Guys, now I'm back at home. I'm sorry that the Duramax video kind of got cut a little short. We kind of ran out of time and there wasn't much else to talk about at that moment. There was some stuff going on we needed to figure it out. It's my cousin's Duramax. He got it back in November. He's had it five months and he loves it. It's gonna be one of his work vehicles, but eventually he wants to progress and get into something else. Like I said before, he has an exhaust on the way. It's actually at his house right now, but he's here in Oregon. So when he heads back home, he'll be installing that because I wanna hear a straight pipe Duramax just as much as you guys do. I actually test drove one about three years ago that had a straight pipe. It sounded so good, it was very grumbly, very much like the Power Stroke is now. Okay, so here's kind of an overview of the parts. Here's my nice workbench here, double garbage can. It's pretty sweet, guys. So here is the controller. This will mount underneath the truck. This is where you run your power and ground, and here's where you connect the rock lights too. Here's the rock lights. This is two of the four, obviously. I'm not just doing two. That would look stupid. Some electrical tape to make the connections, some zip ties, because I don't want to really let wires hang, I want to make them nice and clean, make it a nice clean install. And some self-tapping screws so that way I can attach the rock lights into the fenders. And then here's all the little gaskets and stuff that come with the pack. So what we're going to do first is probably mount this controller, run some wire so that way we don't have to install this underneath the hood because that's not exactly what I want to do. I want to have it underneath the truck so it's a little bit easier to attach the rock lights and I know for a fact that these will reach. Start. Sponsor. No, I wish. All right guys, so we're about 45 minutes into this. The first one always takes longer than the rest because you're kind of figuring out what you're doing. So we have the controller mounted up in here and we have one of our rock lights run completely all the way back and it's mounted. And we have the other one mounted at the front right. It just, as you can see, I'm gonna be running the wire here. It's pretty simple. It's actually a really easy install, a lot easier than I thought it would be. The hardest part is running your lines and finding good places to put them that they're hidden and they're not gonna be exposed to everything. All right guys, so I did something stupid and I kind of want to show you guys what I did so you avoid this issue because this is something so stupid that I did. So to install the rock lights clean, I was drilling a hole through the fender well. Did not realize that Ford put the IDM controller right up here and I drilled into some wires so now the truck will not fire. This is all fixable obviously, but it's a pain in the butt. You have to drop this uh, fender liner. Just thought I'd share that with you guys so that way you guys can avoid this issue. Obviously, like I said, it's fixable and the truck will be fine. It's just, it's a whole nother step and we have to deal with wiring and fix all that crap. So just so you guys know, IDM, this side, it controls your injectors. If that gets hit, your truck will not fire. All right, guys, we got the wires all fixed, button it back up. Like I said, it's repairable. It was just something stupid that I did. And I thought I would share it with you so you guys avoid doing that same issue. So what we did is we disconnect the batteries, obviously. The truck put itself in limp mode, but if you re keep starting it, you disconnect batteries, whatever, it'll fix itself. It'll come out of limp mode and it started right up, fires up. And just as a little proof, truck's back up and running, sounds healthy. No check engine light, like I said. See, no check engine light, just the ABS light, which has been on. I had the issue with the wheel speed sensor going bad, so when you hit the brakes, it would act like the ABS should be kicking on and it would let me roll through stops, so I pulled that fuse a while ago. It's our in, and I, will, I cannot wait to show you guys at night, but yeah, here's. One of them you can see in there installed, around the wires clean, looks good. Well guys, sadly, the board has to be towed. Alright guys, the truck is now back safely thanks to AAA. These guys up here, you guys rock. If you guys don't have AAA, definitely go get them. Definitely not a sponsor, but uh, hey, if you guys want to sponsor. So the truck is now back to where I can repair it. 
The rock lights were finished. I'm just a little bummed that the truck decided to just die on me when I was at the store so I couldn't leave. But, you know, sadly these things happen. It's not exactly how I wanted to end the video. But I'll show you. Rock lights are on. Here's it with blue. Uh, cool purple color. That's my favorite. I'm pretty excited about them. For 50 bucks, these things are pretty impressive. I mean, they're really bright. As you can see, I got them on the right side. Got them... Whoop, a little dark over here. Got them on all four. It just, it looks spectacular. I, I am absolutely happy with it. It sets the truck apart. I had them on while I was waiting for the tow truck and it was getting some people's attention, which was pretty cool. So this week we hit 400 subscribers. That is insane. I wanted 500 by the end of the year and here we are hundred away from my end of year goal in March. I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you so, so much for you guys' continued support, helping grow this channel, sharing the videos, commenting, sharing with your friends. Seriously guys, thank you so much. I could not ask for better subscribers. So before we wrap up this video, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, share, comment. I try to like and love every single comment that there is, reply to everybody, because I want you guys to feel heard because I feel it's important to connect with you guys, all 400 if I have to. I will absolutely do my best to do so. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Next week, the truck will be back and better than ever. And I'll see you guys in the next video.